Lower City Battles Real Talk. We're back. F- fellow, introduce yourself. It's Hulk, aka Professor Banner, uh, K- King of the Runnels, Uncivilized People. You know, shout out everyone. Yeah. Welcome back, on my brother. Um, yeah. Now, this is an up- this is a Real Talk update as such. You've already been on, so we haven't got to go through the first part that I do with everyone. So let's just pick up from where we sort of left off, and it's. Your battle with uh, Rivers, which is due out soon, I believe. Tomorrow, I think, boy. If Tomorrow. I go by Mickey's word. Okay. Cool, cool. What's your take on it, my brother? How did it go? Because I have not heard anything about it. Um, I think it was a really good battle. Um, what it is, is that I'm one of them guys, like, obviously... For my next battle, I've started to try and improve that already. But I'm one of them guys that lets real life take over a lot and I leave my preparation for the last minute. Like, not using it as an excuse or nothing. I've been doing it since my tryout. Like, my tryout got confirmed for Don't Flop uh, 14 days before the battle. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And obviously, I didn't just go home that night and start writing. I still had stuff that I had to do, etc. So my my hobby, my, my, my habit has been to, you know, write like within the last week of battles and stuff and obviously it ain't really done me that much justice in it so with rivers like i was outside the event snoopy was trying to put us on a bit earlier um because they was running the event but it was the king of the ronald's battle at the event yeah um and i was just like nah just give me more time in it just give me a bit more time sort of thing and i was going over my bars a bit and that and i knew like every round like don't look like i choked I don't think do you get what I'm saying, but I left out a lot of bars. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. So I think all my rounds were quite short and that. Um, but you know, the thing is as well is that you know them crowds there they're new to battle rap. So where I'm trying to avoid saying a lot of things that I've heard from watching so many battles, them man they will say stuff that I think is kind of played out, but they'll get a huge reaction because it's a new crowd as well. Yeah. So it, it's very you know it's it's very hard to do. Um, and obviously, Rivers is don't, don't get me wrong. He's sick and he's respected in his area, and like he's like their kind of hometown hero. So, like I definitely think you know he had a lot of support in the building and that. But no excuses. Like I actually personally think he won. Like I said, I forgot a lot of bars and that. I think I had a, a good few rebuttals and that. But I think it's a really good battle still, definitely. And it's it's the reason, obviously, why Rivers is the top of this flyer because Norb stood there and watched that battle. And obviously, it wasn't me that he went home really remembering at the end of the day. Do you get what I'm saying? It was more Rivers. Like, he's mentioned him in a few interviews, etc. You know, so you can tell that that's, that that battle, realistically, even though it's on King of the Ronald, it's, def- it's, it's, it's essential to know that battle because that's the history of Rivers' is, you know, getting into this proving grounds thing and everything. It's because that battle, realistically, is because Norb saw him that day. So... People have got to see that, really. Real talk right there, man. We're going to go on to order and chaos in a minute, but let, let's let's move on to the KOTR event that's coming up in January. Britain last. Yeah. Main event or top of the flyer is EMC versus Cracker. Yeah. What's the thought? What, like, what's the inkling of this match going down, man? Like, How did this come about? I'll be honest with you. I said to you just now that I set up all the battles on the card. This one, Mickey had it set up they was both interested in battling each other for a while yeah and i was knocking about ideas and mickey said what about them two and i said yeah all right cool so to be honest with you that was mickey's that's the only battle on the card that mickey actually kind of set up but it was set up before and it was just laying about and nothing was happening with it and i just kind of brought it back up and said yeah let me just slap that on this card so that's kind of how it went about but i think obviously cracker i think he's obviously seen the He's trying to, uh, you know, utilize the the root of, uh, you know, he that whole Pedro battle and that. And I think Crackers probably came up with some funny bars or whatever about it. And to EMC, this is the biggest battle he's ever had. I don't think he's battled anyone bigger than Cracker, like the two on two champ, etc. Like title, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it's it's they just both wanted to do it for different reasons, and it's just happening really. All right. Big J versus Max Sherry. Um, Big J's my boy, innit? And, like, I was setting up the event and that, and he was, I was saying, like, who should I get for Bowski? 
and he said to me, uh, put Bowski against Max Sherry because Bowski's funny and he'll do a lot of jokes about the whole crying situation, etc. and this, that and the other. And um, I said to him, uh, you know, uh, I've got Bowski someone else. So he was like, oh, man, who are you going to do? I'll battle Mac Sherry. I'll battle Mac Sherry. I want to battle Mac Sherry. So I was like, all right, cool. I messaged Mac Sherry. I was like, do you want, you want battling Big J? He was like, fuck yeah. So I was like, all right, cool then. Big J versus Mac Sherry. Like, there's not no, it's not like with these King of the Ronalds battles and that, it's not all political like that. Do you know what I mean? If people want to battle each other, it's going to happen. Like, it's just out of natural. Like, you've got your reason you want to battle that person. You've got your reason you want to battle that person. Just fucking battle in it and let's see what happens. So, all right, cool. So, Jitsu Conquer B. To be honest with you, that was a little um, that was a little brainchild of mine for a while. And what happened is like we've got we've we've sem- we've got semi confirmed for the birthday event, Soul Jitsu versus Big J. Um, but that was in the pipeline before, and um, um, we're just kind of making we're just checking if Big J is going to be available around that time, basically, but that battle was confirmed to go down kind of thing. Um, but Conquer B wanted a battle. Well, I'm, I kind of messaged him to battle a little while ago, and then he showed interest again. So I just kind of I thought, Raj, you know what? These are two good newcomers kind of thing to, to like the battle scene that, uh, you know, getting given these kind of side opponents that ain't really as known as them kind of thing or as rated as them. And I thought they're kind of, you know, similarly, people are calling their names in the forums, etc., on a sort of similar level. I thought they're both really funny. They've got that sort of... So Jitsu's got that sort of really blunt comedy and Conquer B's kind of quite witty. I just think... I just I don't know. I just thought, yeah, you know what? That that would be a good matchup. So I just hollered them and just said, yeah, man, let's make this happen. Cool, man. Cool. Both, both Stark versus Frequent Four. Um, frequent four. I was meant to line him up. What was his the first battle? He was meant to battle EMC. I don't know why. I was gonna do. I think I was gonna do like a battle of the midgets or something like that. Do you know what I mean? And say yeah, like <coughs> two short, two short guys or whatever going at it. Um, but I think Mickey. Obviously, after the whole Pedro battle, Mickey's obviously he's realised the value in EMC, like regardless of what happened in that battle and regardless of how it said it it is or whatever, like people are interested in EMC now. Do you get what I'm saying? For yeah, whatever yeah. reason. So you know, we wanna try and sort of at the same t- at the same time, even though he might feel like, oh, you know, they take the piss a bit, we still wanna give him a bit better battles to go with the little buzz that he's kind of building up in it and see where he what he can do with it, innit? Um so EMC kind of got pulled out of the, well, we, we didn't line him up with a frequent fort battle and then um, I messaged frequent fort and he said oh no he messaged me saying can, can I re, can I line up the EMC battle and I said I can't at the moment I said but I'm lining up battles and then obviously Bowski he's running the north events in it so um, like it's going to be mutual things where I'll go and battle at his events he'll come and battle at my events we're all part of the same company sort of yeah. thing yeah I said to him, you on battling for me? He said, yeah. And I just lined them two up. I thought it'd be funny, because again, like what Big J said about Matt Cherry, like, Bowski will probably come up with some jokes. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you know, some frequent thoughts, a very short guy. Um, he's fucked up a couple of battles, so there's some very good jokey angles that can be used against him. And he's also quite funny, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see what he comes up with against Bowski. I just thought it would just be quite a good battle, man. I'm releasing a Bowski battle within the next couple of days. Oh, yeah? The Bowski postal battle for my event, bro. For yeah. my old Chaos event, that's coming out. Sick. Just waiting on the edit to finish now, bro. And, yeah. You know what it is with Bowski? I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, whether people think he's the best or not, yeah? My man puts in a lot of effort into what he does and that, and he's very proud of what he does and that, man. And he's one of them solid guys that have come. And you know what I mean? Like, he'll show up and, and do what he's meant to do, man. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I think he did. I think he does well. Like that's all I can say. It's a good battle to watch. Yeah. Like, it's a good battle to watch. Um, bombshell versus bench. I'm in bard. Bard. Yeah. Um, I think them two kind of been going at it 
Like, not at it, they're friends, obviously, but I think they wanted to battle each other. Um, they felt that this was the best platform for them to do it on. Bard, shout out Bard, by the way, because he's, like, part of the team. He's doing, like, the blogging and stuff since Don't Flop kicked him out and put him on the bench. We took him off of that bench, brought him into MACD's, got him a, you know, you know, a, a, a chicken mayo 99p and, and hooked him up, man. So yeah, bro, he's he's blogging for us. Like he's well, he hasn't yet, but you know he will. He, he's helping it's coming. Out. It's coming. Yeah. Man. So let let's just quickly go through the last two matches of the night, bro. Like I don't really like know know the last two battlers on the card really. Like the four or the four battlers as it is. JB versus Deafening, or yeah, I don't know if I pronounce it right. Yeah, yeah. Um. So basically, what it is is JB. He's battled. He had a don't flop tryout, and he messaged King of the Ronalds about a battle. <clears throat> I kind of had a little list of a few people that had messaged for battles and that, so I went through them and that, and I matched him up at the last event that we did on the street, which the battles ain't out yet. For uh, I matched JB up with uh, BC, I think it was, and. Um, he he bodied it in it like I I was very surprised in it like to be honest with you you know when I put like we was putting on a street event and we needed a few battles we needed a couple of uploads with us you know like a lot of the battles that we do it's mainly for the entertainment because of the editing etc and we'll like even like Mickey's hosting and shit sometimes just the way you take the piss and that it's just worth a little watch you know what I mean so yeah. we needed content and I didn't actually watch these guys battles before I put them and gave them a battle do you get what I'm saying? I like. I'll be honest with you. I didn't watch their battles, so I didn't know what to expect. One of them just choked up, and one of them just killed it. Like with actually good bars. Like, Jan Kruger was there watching, and he was cracking up half the time. And that, do you know what I mean? And I thought, yeah, this guy is quite decent. Like, and um, the same with the next guy, uh, Deafening. I I matched him up with someone again who who did Deafening battle. I can't remember, but. Uh, that's bad, isn't it? Like I can't even remember who battled on my own card. Shout out to that rapper that battled though still. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely embodied it as well, isn't it? He had some good bars as well. So that day, like at the end of that event, I was just to turn around, I said to Mickey, like, the two people that killed it today was Deafening and JB. I reckon we should put them together as like a little undercard. Because obviously we've done a couple of street events. So it was like, yeah, whoever wants to come battle, come battle kind of thing. But now in the new year, we've set up things like in a nice venue and this, that and the other. And we've got obviously, like you can see, like a full card and that. So we said, right, man, we'll take the best guys that we found on these street kind of things and just put them at the bottom of the card of the indoor thing and let them get up and get them some limelight in it. So, And then the same with the next battle, that DL guy. Um, he's one of the guys as well. He battled Bombshell at the last street event. Uh, he done quite well. Uh, so I just thought you know what I want to give him a little shot again so yeah man and uh, he's battling JTC <coughs> again he sent me a video about, like he messaged King of the Ronalds I watched it thought he was alright and just gave him gave him deal basically so, but a lot of the battles I think the best battles are the natural ones a lot of the time as well and people overthink things and go oh this would be a good battle because of this or that would be what happens in the days when people would just fucking link up in the street you battle do you know what I mean and just shit just happens isn't it yeah man yeah so let's move on to order and chaos then bro because it's a pretty big card itself it's a mm. it's a sort of historical event really let's be honest do you get what I mean like yeah bro it's the man, first that's... proving grounds event in the UK, like uh, it's being held down by GOTG and obviously the URL with Norbs, like it's a pretty big event. With Shotty Horror and Morris Delta as special guests, and obviously you got the battles. Let's go for through and get your thoughts on the b other battlers, bro. Like, don't go too hard though, because I don't want man catching feelings and ending up like bro. beating each other up at the event. Like, you get no, what I mean. No. Listen, you ain't got to worry. You're out there in Norway, isn't it? Like, I, I was going to come to this one, man. I was thinking, like, this one, this one's got a tinkling for me to come to, man. Shit, bro, man. Right. So, you know what it is? I'll tell you the truth, bro, especially people like you that's in the actual game, yeah? 
networking is the best at the events. And that's obviously the hard thing for you because you're all the way out there. Yeah. But you yeah, see, yeah. like, people that even try to hit me up for battles and shit and say, oh, how can I get her to give me a battle and this, that, and the other? Yeah. And I say to them, bruv, your best bet is to go to the event and talk to people yeah. face to face. Like, it's, it, like, I've got Genesis Elijah on my EP because I see him, I met him at a Red JSD event when I battled at a Red JSD event, some unknown league in the fucking middle of nowhere, do you know what I mean? But he was performing there. And it's just networking, isn't it? Like, that's how it goes, isn't it? So, yeah. So, main event of the night, we got Rivers versus Dialect. Now, you've already touched on the Rivers thing, man. Like, Dialect's a pretty, pretty big name in the game yeah. right now for the UK scene, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah, he's more than a pretty big name, bro. Like, Dialect is one of the main, like... I, like My top five is obviously preference to listen to, and I do rate Dialect, but not necess- he's not necessarily my top five of preference to listen to. But generally, in the UK, I would say, who's popping right now, Dialect is in the top five. I will say so, definitely. Real talk. Like, so... How do you think that's going down, man? You've obviously seen the Rivers versus you, so you know, like, you've seen a lot of Rivers... Yeah, like you've been at a lot of events that Rivers battled at as well, like obviously because he's battled. See, this at... one's gonna be different for Rivers. This is gonna be a challenge for him in the sense where, like, he's used to battling to basically a home crowd. That no matter who he's battled so far, like obviously not the first first couple battles because I know in his first battle I think it was he didn't do very well at all. Do you know what I mean? But um. Like, he's he's got the crowd behind him down there. Do you get what I'm saying? But this is going to be different now where, to the point where people like Shotty Horror and Dialect and people like that on a flyer bring in, you know, an audience, in it. So, hopefully, it will be more balanced out for him and he'll have to see, like, how it feels to kind of battle because that's what he needs to do. He needs to battle out of his area in a different crowd and see how it feels to battle with a crowd that don't fuck with him kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Because yes. like, he's done very well, he's good, but every battler needs to go through that to obviously learn, isn't it? Like, and, and hopefully I think this will bring it to him because there should be quite a lot of dialect fans in the building. And the thing with dialect is that when he starts spitting sometimes because of, with his grand flows and that, like his energy just makes people go nuts before, like, you know what I mean? Before they've even heard what he said. Sixth sixth birthday, man. You can't even, when he's flowing on that, when he's flowing in his verse, you don't even actually get to hear what he says on the video. Yeah. You, you even watch the video, you sit there going up with him because you just, exactly. Even Cortez went like Cortez said, I didn't even understand what he was saying, but I know he was, I know he was saying something good stuff because the way the crowd was going and actually, <laughs> that's what it is but yeah no it's gonna be hard it's gonna be like that one is just gonna be hard to call because rivers could take it all day like he's one of them guys like he doesn't really lose at home kind of thing in it like and i don't know man he could easily take it if he comes hard but at the same time dialect is like dialect in it and like he's a kind of he's more or less the uk fucking battle rap veteran right now like so, you know, he can he can take heads off. And Rivers is fairly a newcomer in when you compare them. Like Rivers has only battled like his biggest battles to date are like me and Flex Explicit and Big J. Do you get what I'm saying? They're the only three names he's battled. Dialect has been to King of the Dot and battled in Canada. Dialect has fucking done a two-on-two title match in Leeds. Do you know what I mean? Like he's battled in front of thousands. Rivers has battled in front of hundreds. So. It could be a game of a game of experience that that you know what I mean. Fura versus Tally. Similar thing, man. Similar thing. Um, I've battled Fura as well. You get me. So, uh, like, I don't know, man. It's 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 both. It's both aggression, isn't it? But Fiora is one of them guys that uses... He gets up in people's faces, and I think it's the aggression and the disrespect and that. After I battled him, like... It, like, the last couple of times I battled that gift of the gab, I went there and I tried to use too much clever wordplay and more of a passive... Not passive, but laid-back approach to mock their aggressive street sort of... Yeah, you know, yeah. But it never worked, in it. And outside, after my battle, Fury just said to me, "Bruv, like in this league, in it, like disrespect wins all the time, in it. Don't matter how much you write your box or whatever. If you get in someone's face and say something really disrespectful, the crowd are gonna go nuts and that. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Like Fury is quite very good at that, in it. Like he can just make you look like shit. 
by not even necessarily saying the sickest bars, but just like, do you know what I mean, talking to you kind of thing. So that's what I'm like, Tally's got to watch out for because Tally talks the road stuff, but he's more laid back in it. So he he's going to have to step up his physical presence, I think, in this battle because Fiora could, could win off of that, like, especially for people in the room watching it live. They're going to obviously judge the, the physical performance as well, isn't it? And Tally's normally laid back and Fiora's normally really in the face and that. But bar-wise, Tally's obviously no like he's more known in it, man. And he's had again, it's more experience. He's battled in front of like he battled at the Manchester London event that was like two thousand people, etc. So you know what I mean, like he's definitely got the experience on him. So, Port Piff Flex Blissett. To be honest with you, Flex has got that man. Um, just because Port Piff, I don't know, man. His last battle, I never really, 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 really dug Port Piff too much uh, till his last battle against Mula Mitch T when he pulled out all the Instagram pictures and he actually did it in a good way and he spat some good bars and I was really like, yeah, this guy's fucking talking to him. So, like, he's going to talk to Flex Blissett. I know he's going to talk to him. Do you get what I'm saying? I know he like he's not he's not a shook guy or nothing. He's took this battle because he wants to show my man. You get me? But at the same time, Flex is there to outbar people in it. That's what Flex tries to do. That's what Flex wants to do. That's why he's in this thing. He just wants to show people that he's got the bars and that. So um, I don't know, man. I think writing wise, Flex. But if Port Piff puts on a performance like he did last time, then he could take that man. But I'm gonna say Flex is gonna. Probably out bar him, man, to be honest with you. But big up Port Piff's though, man. Gizmo versus Shocks. This is again a hard one, bro. Shocks is obviously the, 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 the main man everyone's talking about right now. Like, uh, you know, he got slapped in high rise the day of that last King of the Ronalds gift to the Gab event. Um, and he had a sick battle versus that Caps guy. Uh, and that's the thing, like, it's funny because people take for granted, like, you know, Shox has tried out for Don't Flop. And guess what? No one was really talking about him on Twitter and that, like, as big as they was as when he battled that gift of the gap. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and as much as, like, he's obviously got more views off his Don't Flop battle, the right people saw him at gift of the gap. Hence why he's on the Proving Grounds card and hence why he got put in higher rise and this, that and the other, do you know what I mean? So I think more happened for him. I think like it's mad in contrast that actually he's one of the very minority that actually benefited more from going to battle in a smaller league rather than Don't Flop, to be honest with you. But yeah, he's got a battle coming up in Don't Flop as well, I think. So yeah, but sure, Shock still. Yeah, I think Shock's is... Shock will have that battle still, but Gizmo is one of them guys. He's another one of them guys, especially a gift to the gab and that he just, he will shout at man and talk to man and tell you disgusting stuff about your daughter or your, you know what I mean? Like, he's he's one of them very disrespectful guys. I kind of like Gizmo still, like, he's, especially because when we first went to gift to the gab, me and Big J, we thought Big J was the only white guy there, but Gizmo was the white guy there holding it down from day one, you get me? So, it, like, in the, in the back of an estate hall, when they first started, they wasn't in no wine bar, you get me? They was in an estate hall at the back of an estate in Clapham, and fucking, it was ghetto, it was blacked out, it was enough black people, and you see Gizmo shouting some shit on the stage, like some racist <laughs> white guy. You know, like, not racist, but you know what I mean? Like, that's how, like, it was just, he was just holding it down still, so, no, I liked it still, it was good. But yeah, I think Shocks will have that with bars, man. Caps versus MG. I think Caps might take that, you know. MG's good, yeah, but he's he's not crowd friendly yet, man. Like I've only I've only seen his battle on Don't Flop. I can't not his try. I watched his try out. I think I can't remember it though because it's old. But he had another battle on Don't Flop. I think it might have been the, the April Fools or the one after or something. So just. Nah, not Soul Jitsu. He battled. Uh... I thought it was Soul Jitsu. Was it Soul Jitsu? I thought it was Soul Jitsu he battled. I didn't think. He I'm did. gonna look it up right now as we can. But carry on, yeah, carry on. I'll look it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah like MG is one of them guys that he's not easy on the crowd, isn't it? Like I think he's one of them guys you either like him or you don't, isn't it? Like he's not every man's battle, I kind of thing. But, but um. <coughs> 
Caps, obviously, he's got the home... He's, 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 he, he, that's his home crowd as well. Like He's been battling at Gift of the Cap for a little while now, building his confidence. Got known from his shots battle a bit. So I think he's going to go in there trying to go hard. I think MG's obviously going to go in there going hard. Um, he's got the Northern accent as well, which obviously might play a different advantage on the, on the, on the crowd at Gift of the Gab. I don't think they see many Northerners apart from Flex. To be honest with you, sorry, yeah. I don't know, man. I kind of got caps getting that one still, you know. I don't know. It was, it was so, it was so jitsu he battled. Um, yeah, yeah. You versus Biggs. Me versus Biggs. Obviously, I've got that. You get me. Obviously. Okay, man. Okay. I've never. I've, I, I don't think. I don't. I don't know if Biggs has got any battles, but I've never seen him battle. Um, I do this like kind of thing, isn't it? So it's just kind of like. I don't know, man. I said this before, like, not even being... I weren't even trying to be big-headed, innit? Like, when I battled Money Mitch, when they offered me Money Mitch and Don't Flop, and they was offering me Tally and Money Mitch, and Furtz and Bam was trying to... Uh, like, not arguing, but they were both trying to pitch, man, the different guys. And Furtz ended up winning and getting his boy Money Mitch to battle. And I was just kind of like, you lot, do you want to do this to this guy? Like, he's not... He's new to this kind of thing. I've had a couple don't flop battles now. My last battle was cystic where I kind of choked, but everyone was still kind of digging the battle. It's one of my best feedbacks. So I was like, you want to give this kind of newish guy, a guy that's hungry like me, like to, to me, like right now, like I, I will, and even though I lost the judging on that battle, which obviously is crazy, like I don't think there's one comment saying that Manny Mitch won. Do you get what I'm saying? And, like, all the judges after, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone, literally anyone, would watch that battle and think that Money Mitch won. Shout out Money Mitch as well, because he's cool. But I I, I definitely... And, and that was sloppy as well. I was sloppy in that battle to fuck. I, I forgot bare bars as usual. But I won that battle. And I think that's what, like, you can't... I think experience does play a big part in this, isn't it, man? And, and as much as I think I could watch Biggs' bar sessions or his P110 or whatever and think, yeah, this guy can actually spit you don't know what it's like to be in that pit and you know what I mean? And and you don't know what you what sort of crowd and what audience you're catering to, but I know my market in it, so I know what I'm writing, I know who's watching, I know who's listening, I know what they've heard, I know what they wanna hear. I'm not perfect, but I think I've got that advantage there still. Alright. So talking about money Mitch, straps versus money Mitch. <laughs> money Mitch has got that still. Money Mitch just needs to improve his projection. That's it, man. It's like he's so laid back, like he doesn't give a fuck whether the crowd fuck with him or not kind of thing. I just think he needs to improve his projection and his delivery. Why well, he's got the bars there, in it? So, um, yeah, man, definitely. I think Money Mitch has got that still, man. Straps is cool. But I don't know, man. Yeah, I think Money Mitch has got that still. And the last battle on the card, Willsy versus Savage. This is a hard one, you know. Do you know what? I see. I was meant to battle Savage uh, for Spit Roast. I think it was last year, and I think he pulled out about two days before I was gonna pull out anyway, yeah, uh, because uh, I couldn't make it. But I never. I was gonna message them, and then they messaged me saying he couldn't make it. He had some um, family or whatever. I was like, cool. <laughs> but I obviously watched his bars and ripped three rounds for him and that. And um, I thought he was quite good, you know. I thought like it's going to be different because he's not necessarily one of them mad lyrical brayers, but he can rap. He seems confident. He's got the presence. He can be up in your face. He seems the real deal. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He seems, he's convincing. You get me what he does, like how he does it. So I definitely think that he, he could be a problem still. Willsie, um it just depends... If he's going to scheme it, he's got to keep it punchy, especially with a new crowd like that. Like, he caters his schemes to people that might have been watching Don't Flop or whatever for a year or two or whatever. These people, they don't really... It depends, in it? Like, a lot of the Gift of the Gab crowd have started watching battles because Gift of the Gab and because they go there and that. So it's a different crowd. I think he's got to keep it a bit more punchy. Um his presence and that as well. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, like, this is different from Don't Flop because it's more of the street element, it's more of the respect element. And no matter how sick your bars are kind of thing, 
like if it's not believable or it's not convincing or you're standing there looking like you're losing or looking like you're feeling a way about it, then it affects the battle. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, and that's what affects the crowd. So I think it's going to be a different. It's going to be different for Wills in it, but it's just see, interesting to see how he adapts in it. If he comes the same like normal Wills and don't flop then I think it's not really going to work as much. And I think Savage might get it just on the sort of street aggressive presence. If you get me. Cool, bro, cool. Well, that's both cards gone through. 30 minutes of your very good time, my sir. Yeah. Um, so on closing, like, have you got any shout-outs you want to do right now? Obviously, uh, all, the, all our infos will be in the info underneath, all the Twitters, Facebooks, rah, rah, rah. Um, but have you got any shout outs, bro? Um, yeah, bro, just big shout out fucking Tony Ray, Oil City Battles. Um, shout out fucking Gift of the Gab, Snoopy 558, Michael Million. Shout out Norbs, uh, Beasley, and all of them fucking man there. Um, shout out fucking uncivilized people, man. That's that's the clip, me, Big J, Foul, C Wiz. Look out for that shit. We're gonna drop some mixtapes and that and start fucking taking some shit over. So hold tight, Mickey Worthless, King of the Runnels, Pedro, uh <coughs> all of them man, they all the staff. Max, get me the U kit bro, oh, you fucking bastard, Max. Yeah, bro. That's about it, bro. Cool brother, that's really good. So yeah, make sure to obviously go through all the links at the bottom, subscribe to the YouTube's, Facebook's, rah rah rah. Thank you very much, people. We're out. Mm.